God bless this teacher for exposing what's happening in these classrooms. Um, our next speaker is Janet Valerkian. All night. I've been a resident of Glendale for 45 years and a teacher of 25 years. GST schools are my alma, are my alma mater and I'm appalled as to where they've come. I'm ashamed at how this council has represented not only Glendale residents, but the teachers and students in GUSD. This council is representing Glendale residents in the same way that teachers unions are representing the majority of teachers and that representation is abysmal. Just to clarify what Councilman Ara Najarian was saying about what is being taught to students, he was echoing what Glendale parents were concerned about. I, as a teacher, have seen sexual content being presented in schools in neighboring districts and have spoken to Glendale teachers who firsthand have said that sex is being taught in our classes. I am a science teacher and I've taught health, biology, anatomy, and physiology and have never in any way presented my content um, the way it's being taught now in classes. Let's call it what it is. It's porn. It's being taught in our classes, and they're talking about oral sex, anal sex, and anything you would see in an adult film. When you use non-existent laws to threaten parents that their parental rights will be taken away, that is no different than teachers' unions bullying good teachers who teach students rather than indoctrinate them or speak up against the filth that is being taught in our classes. If city officials can threaten to punish parents for exercising their parental rights, then residents can report teachers to the Commission on Teacher Credentialing for misconduct. The latter is legal, whereas the former is not. You do not need to be a school official to report teachers committing sexual harassment and child abuse, which is what is happening in our classes by certain teachers and upheld by both district officials as well as yourselves. You are not exempt from accountability as you are complicit to all that is going on in our schools and in our communities. Thank you. Yep, these evil people are not teaching to students in classroom. And apparently this is happening more and more because like she said, she talked to other teachers and it's becoming normal. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. There is a battle between good and evil happening right now in this country. For the love of God, take care of your kids. God bless you. Catch you on the next one.